Okay, what's up everybody? Uh, today I'm gonna be installing the Lineage 18.1 unofficial custom ROM onto the OnePlus 8T. Um, if you guys do this, make sure you guys know that it's uh, at your own risk and uh, possibility, possibility of you breaking your phone. Uh, so be aware. And if in case you do break your phone, I have an unbreaking tutorial. Or if you wanna go, or if you wanna revert back to the old Oxygen OS OnePlus 8T uh, OS, then I have you the unbreaking tutorial also does that too. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. First, what we're gonna do is uh, unlock the bootloader and get into fast boot mode. So on your OnePlus 8T, go into your settings. Go to about phone, repeatedly tap on the build number. You guys probably already know how to do this already. Go to systems, go to developers option, OEM unlocking, uh, turn, turn that on, enable that. And also advanced reboot. Now reboot your phone into fast boot mode by holding down the power and the three dots on the top right. Click on that and click bootloader. Now your phone is in bootload mode or fast boot mode. We're going to unlock it, unlock the bootloader. So go over to your PC, make sure you have a uh, download and install minimal ADB and fast boot. Download and install that. Click download here. Click primary download and download, download it somewhere that you remember and install it. After that, we need to download and extract platform tools folder. So go in the link here. All the links and everything is in the description, okay? SDK platform tool it's for Windows. Check that box and, and download. Save it to somewhere you remember. I have it here already. Uh, open it up. Extract the platform tools folder. I have it here already, so I don't need to do that anymore. I have it here. And we need to um, download the latest unofficial lineage 18.1 build. Okay, so go to this website here, and the latest is one. And the latest one is the 18.1. It just came out today. So click and download that. Wait a couple seconds, and save it to somewhere you remember. I already have it here. Yeah, I have it here, and you want to open this up. And you want to extract everything in here into another folder, okay? So I, I extracted, I created a folder here called lineage-18.1. So you want to copy and extract everything here. I already have everything, so I don't need to do that anymore. Okay. Now you want to open up command prompt. Type cmd at the search bar at the bottom there. Hit enter. Type cd space drag and drop the platform tools folder. Hit enter. Uh, type in fast boot, Oop, not fat boot, fast boot devices. Hit enter. Make sure our phone is connected to our PC with the serial number right there. And now we want to okay. Now we need to unlock it. Okay, so type in fast boot bashing unlock like that fast boot space flashing space unlock and hit enter and over our phone it'll ask us if we want to unlock it so we just press the volume down button twice until it hovers the blue stuff hovers over unlock the bootloader and hit the power button Un unlocking your bootloader will wipe everything, so remember that you save your, all your data. Okay, so once your phone reboots, we want to boot it back into f fast boot. So hold the power button, press restart, and hold down the volume down button. Wait until it restarts. Okay, now we're in the bootloader. We're gonna get to the fast boot mode. So we wanna hit English. 
hit advance tap on fast boot reboot to fast boot tap on reboot to fast boot one more time and now that we're in fast boot mode our shit our bootloader is unlocked so we go over to our pc uh and we want to type in these commands okay since we extracted all this already we want to go into this folder and in our command prompt we want to Copy and paste all this, okay? Well, not all this. Uh, to copy and paste fast boot. Whoa, what I do? Uh, or type in fast boot space dash w. This is gonna wipe the operating system from our phone, so it's gonna delete everything. Hit enter. Now type in fast boot. Flash, fast boot space flash space recovery space, and and on the extracted image that we extracted from the the download, we want to drag and drop the recovery img over to the command prompt and hit enter. Now type in fast boot space reboot space fast boot, so it will reboot back into fast boot. or it reboots into the recovery, the, the new recovery that we uh, just flashed as you can see on our phone it's a lineage recovery there, their fast boot okay now we want to type in uh, fast boot flash boot space boot img drag and drop that over hit enter and we want to type in fast boot reboot fast boot again or press up twice on the keyboard and hit enter and your phone will reboot back into fast boot now we want to copy and paste this into the command prop make sure there's a space at the end and drag and drop the dtbo img over as well hit enter and just reboot again I'm rebooting back into fast boot because um, I tried to install it one time without doing that but usually you want to install the you wipe everything and you just you flash the recovery and you fast boot reboot again and then you don't have to reboot over again but then last time I did it I kind of break my phone and when I fast boot reboot uh, after installing uh, or flashing each IMG, it worked perfectly. So I'm going to continue doing it on this one too, okay? Just in case, why not? So we did the DTBO. Now we're going to do the system, fast boot flash system. Space at the end, system IMG over here, drag and drop over, hit enter. There we go. Let's reboot into fast boot again. With fast boot, reboot, fast boot. There we go. Wait for the device. And now we'll fast boot flash system under dash ext. Make sure there's a space at the end. Try and drop the corresponding image over and hit enter the command prompt boot again there we go fast boot space reboot space fast boot hit enter copy and paste fast boot space flash space product into the command prompt Make sure there's space at the end. Drag and drop product IMG over. And hit enter in a command prompt. All right, when that's done, we want to fast boot reboot again. Fast boot space reboot space fa fast boot. Hit enter. 
wait for the device to re reboot back into fastboot and then copy and paste uh, fastboot space fastboot uh, fast space flash space vb meta copy and paste it into the command prompt make sure there's a space at the end and drag and drop the corresponding image over as well and hit enter in the command prompt now we're gonna fast boot reboot fast boot again what that does is it clears the like say we uh, we the cache uh, we uh, flash the vb meta image and uh, the cache it could still be there so if we try to uh, flash another image it might not work right uh, but I don't want to wait for my phone to you know, run out of battery to fix it so I just do it this way to make sure it works fine and I did it earlier and it worked perfectly all right so we rebooted now we want to copy and paste fastboot flash VB meta system make sure there's a space at the end try and drop the corresponding file over and hit enter now we want to type in fast boot reboot and this is going to reboot into the new lineage 18.1 unofficial custom ROM <clears throat> it might take some time but uh, don't worry there we go you see the lineage logo thing right there There we go. So let's do the initial setup. Skip, set up offline. Um, the last build, the last unofficial, the last, the last uh, build for this, or the the old version of the Lineage OS uh, 18. For some reason. I couldn't get the fingerprint to work, but uh, it worked now, so skip all that, start. And yeah, it works, it works really good, so I'll, I'll, I would be using this if I, if this was my phone, I'll, I'll keep on using this um, operating system. This custom ROM here, it's a pretty good one. kind of like it now. Even though it's an unofficial build, I think it will get better. And what else that I also like about this phone is that if you go into uh, systems, uh, buttons, is it buttons? I could invert the layout here. You see that? Buttons, invert layout. So the back button right now is on the left, now it's on the right. And I like that. I like that I can do that, which is awesome. That is fucking awesome. The Pixels, you can't do that. And uh, I'm planning to get a Pixel 4a 5G. And they have a Lineage, a Lineage already made an operating system for it. And I think I'm going to install that and, and use that on the Pixel 4a 5G. <clears throat> so there you have it. Um, let's see, fingerprint works. Let's make sure where to go. Security, fingerprint, fingerprint, and pin. Let me put in a pin. Okay. Okay. There, it works. There we go. Done. And I like the OnePlus 8T's fingerprint reader because I could just put it like this and it works perfectly. It's better than my Samsung Galaxy S20. See? Works very good. Um, if you guys want, do this uh, on your OnePlus 8T. It's really easy. I just showed you guys and if in case you guys bricked it wait until all the battery runs out and follow my unbreaking tutorial uh, link in the description 
or also you could revert it back into a uh, stock and uh, stock um, oxygen OS if you wanted to with the same unbreaking tutorial okay guys so yeah try that out if you guys like it I kind of like this OS I'm gonna put this on pixel 4a 5g once I get it all right there you guys go thank you guys so, so much for watching um, if you guys want you can like and dislike this video comment down below uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, what else uh, yeah subscribe hit the notification thank you guys you guys have a good one